Howdy, howdy. I want to share a nightmare I had a while ago, because it was one of the few dreams that actually managed to creep me out enough to remember it. Now for context, I should probably start with what brought this on. The Mandela Catalog. To be clear, I'm not really into analog horror. Generally, I find most analog horror projects lean too much on the format and forget to create a scary concept that stands on its own. But watching the first couple episodes of the Mandela Catalog were genuinely unnerving to me, because the monster was something I had never seen before using tactics I couldn't really defend against to terrifying effect. It was an awesome watch, and I didn't think it really scared me, but apparently my subconscious disagreed. The night I first watched it, I drifted off to sleep as usual and started dreaming about playing State of Decay 2. Not really sure why that was the case, but whatever. I was enjoying ripping through zombies, saving folks, smiling over the scarecrow rep, and then I noticed something was wrong. I took on my first mission, and for some reason the subtitles for all the NPCs were showing up with their dialogue, but the audio was different. We know what you fear. We know what you stand to lose. Rather than hearing character dialogue, I would hear Gabriel whispering to me through my speakers. Another friend lost. Another voice silenced. His threats were way too personal. He must have been watching me, looking for a weakness. He knew he couldn't hurt me, so he decided to go for someone I care for. But do not worry. She will join our chorus. And you will follow after her. We will be one. 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 I spent the rest of the night guarding her door, 